Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another traditional origami. Today we're going to make a traditional origami case. For this origami you just need one piece of origami paper and it actually works better if you use a rectangular sheet of paper. So what I'm going to do is just cut off a third of this paper that you see here. Just roll my paper around into an S shape, pinch it off, fold it over, and then just cut off this extra flap so that I get a nice rectangular sheet of paper. So you can use this origami with um, you know, regular printer paper and get a really good result without needing to have any fancy origami paper around. Um, and it works better with even really larger paper. This will create some very small case when we're done. So um, I've got my paper though in its rectangular shape and what I wanna do is I wanna take uh, and fold one side all the way over to create a big triangle here. like so. And then I'm gonna take the top and I'm gonna fold that tip over to the opposite side. So we're creating kind of like a house shape, if you will. So we've got a nice tip at the top, both of those flaps folded over. Then the next thing we're gonna do is take the bottom part and roll, fold it in half here. Like so. And then I'm going to take that section and roll it all the way up, like so. And we're going to take everything and kind of fold it inwards. And um, there isn't really like a center crease or any set place of how to do this, but you do want to try to create similar folds here so that you get a similar kind of triangle at the top and everything centered. Get that to kind of fold over and let it all lay flat. You can kind of start things out, make sure everything is going the way you want to. There's a lot of paper, a lot of layers, so you do need to kind of work carefully with it as you're going. But we'll get all of that kind of folded over, creating a nice little house shape there. And then we could take one of these and just slide it into this pace, uh, place here that you see and I get it uh, so that it can stay nice and snug. And then we still have the main base of the case there where you can put things in. And then we just take all of this and fold it down. And you wind up getting this nice little uh, envelope shape when you're done. And that is how you make a traditional origami case. I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.